Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the counter analysis in OpenCV Python. So today we are going to detect uh, different objects in a live uh, webcam stream and uh, after that we are going to uh, put a boundary upon the biggest object of biggest counter in our uh, live webcam feed. So all the counters uh, detected in the uh, surface is uh, basically uh, outlined with the green color and the biggest object in the cam uh, in front of the camera will be um, bounded with blue color rectangle so that's over today's goal so let's get started okay so i'm using a uh, very low post normal webcam so it is working very fine the python version i'm using is 2.7 almost everything is similar uh, little few changes and uh, for the python 3.3 uh, 3 or above and uh, the open cv i am using is uh, the uh, the version is uh, let's see a uh, 3.4 so uh, only the function uh, find counter and draw counter, uh, f uh, the find counter will be changed in upper level OpenCV versions. So you need to make sure uh, how uh, uh, the returned uh, number of returned arguments from a find counter function. Uh, so I, I will uh, give you a walkthrough uh, to the code. First of all, let's create a live cam feed. Uh, so here is the code. I am using NumPy as well as well uh, OpenCV2 uh, for uh, my uh, capturing the live cam, uh, cam feed and all the uh, proce image processing and uh, first i am using not the default webcam of the uh, laptop but a usb webcam so i need to put the number of the webcam in video capture function argument so i am providing it a one after that i am creating an infinite loop so uh, and uh, in this infinite loop i am just reading uh, grabbing a frame uh, the two returned arguments are return and frame the first uh, returned argument will uh, be true if the, uh, this cam will uh, return uh, some image or false if not after that i am just displaying this frame and if uh, i press q button on the keyboard uh, the uh, loop will be break and uh, we will release the camera object as well as destroy all the windows so let's run this and uh, see how this works so here is our live cam feed and uh, it is just an rgb image nothing else if i press a small q I, it will quit and uh, return so uh, next thing uh, this is the final code of counter analysis uh, we created a kernel here after uh, initializing our webcam uh, the kernel what will it do it will just create a array of two by two and uh, a type of uh, unsigned integer 8 bit it means unsigned char so as value will be only ranging from 0 to 255 this kernel will be used in some morphological operations later on in the while loop i create i grabbed a frame from the webcam after that i converted it to a grayscale uh, because all the processing we are doing is in binary image to convert into binary first we have to convert into a grayscale after converting into a grayscale we uh, just it, uh, took a gaussian blur we apply a 7 by 7 filter gaussian blur filter to uh, uh, create a blurry image uh, this will just to remove some kind of noise and after that we applied a median blur of uh, three to remove salt and pepper type of noise so the median uh, blur will uh, remove a kind of salt and pepper noise and uh, the returned gray image will be like this so let's change uh, gray scale and see so far how it will be look so this will be the blurred and uh, noise removed image and after that let's move on and convert this image into a binary image we use a standard uh, threshold value uh, so because our main target is not to 
uh, did, uh, how, uh, the binderization or segmentation problem. So we just uh, pick a very simple problem of the segmentation problem. So we uh, converted a uh, very bright areas, I mean uh, uh, values ranging from 200 to 255. So these uh, uh, ranges define that only the white objects will be detected. So that's why in a start demo, when I displayed only the white objects are being detected. So we, in this tutorial, we are only going to detect the white or very bright objects, so mainly the uh, white objects or the other objects which are uh, the color intensity of the uh, will fall between these values okay uh, the last argument zero will uh, denote uh, that the uh, white objects will be returned as one and other will be uh, all uh, the values below this threshold will be returned as zero and if we change this zero to one the inverted uh, image will be uh, provided so this threshold after uh, the this function will also return to uh, variables of first is uh, thresh, uh, uh, returned it will be true if it is converted properly or false as uh, we are only concerned with this thresh variable so this thresh variable will hold a binary image for us uh, this will uh, further pass to the morphological operation and the uh, operation we are applying is a gradient and we are applying a kernel and this will strength uh, to get outer boundary only this uh, function will give us only the outer boundary and after that we apply a threshold value uh, of the thresh image and we apply a five time iteration on the dilation operation so we apply a dilate function this will basically strength a weakened pix weak pixel so if your detected boundary uh, from this function will be very weak pixels and these pixels will be uh, get uh, five by five after this dilation so this will be become uh, more connected and more joined so let's see how our thresh image look like so we change uh, the display function to thresh and over binary uh, image of the thrash will be look like this so here you see the outer boundary is uh, marked more so here you can see i am placing my hand above the object so it is changing like this right okay so move back to the code and see what next uh, after that we apply this uh, binary image uh, which is containing over only objects uh, we pass this image to our find counter function this will return us the counters or you can say all the objects in that image so next what we do is we check if the length of the counter is greater than zero it means we found some objects in it all we have to do is to draw uh, that counters so <clears throat> it will basically draw all the pixels as you can see the boundary outlined with the green color here is the this function will uh, de determine the color and the last five will determine the strength of the outer boundary and after that we find the maximum area from that counter and uh, we get a bounding rectangle around that uh, area and uh, we get we uh, the returned arguments will be x y and width and height we can draw a rectangle ab uh, around that uh, um, biggest area so the last argument will also the mark marker size we can uh, create a big uh, rectangle with the strong marker size let's say eight and uh, the final uh, finalized will be over final frame image which will hold the over returned output like this so now we are getting the more strong uh, rectangle or with the strong eight marker size and uh, 
five size for the boundary uh, drawn on the green color and a blue rectangle is a highlighting over biggest object in the frame so if we do this you can see that change as you can see uh, it is also detecting some noise right uh, here okay so that's all for today's tutorial if you have any question leave a comment if you have any suggestion to improve this code leave a comment if you have a better code leave a comment so we'll get back to you thank you